Falls, Cyprus, the Gulf of Northern Ireland, Peacekeepers, Bosnia, War of Attrition, Iraq, Terrorists, Afghanistan. It was like a bad Vietnam movie. I didn't know what was going on. There was the constant smell of death. Groups that didn't want us to be there. But they used to cut the heads off, bury the heads off from the body. And he put his stumps cut off. The grey of the road was not grey, it was full of blood. Bodies wrapped in red wrapping paper. I saw the, the worst side of human life. The war might be over, but the battles have only begun. The perceptions have changed, but a lot of us are still fighting that time. My wife sees me fall asleep on the couch. She says, you've been kicking again, or you've been screaming, or I wake up suddenly, you know, like I have been there with cold sweat. Normal things I'd like to be doing, I can't be bothered. Why? Why? I just cannot be bothered today. When the post-matter stress kicks in, that's where you don't have your personal problem, where you let everything go to the side, where you don't wash, you don't shave. You can't sleep on a night. You're having nightmares, you're having flashbacks, something smells, something tastes, it's just... It's hard to believe what you believe. Easily angered. Something that I'd normally laugh off could leave me in a howling rage. You can be very violent. You can have a very high sex drive because you want to get rid of all this adrenaline because your heart races, you, you're buzzing. Or you just go to the gym and burn it off. I started drinking heavily. Instead of having one beer, I'll have three, or I'll have four, or I'll have five. And slowly start sinking into a cycle of self-medication. I used to drink a heck of a lot. I mean, gallons of beer, because it makes me sleep on a night. You develop certain ways of doing things. Um, it's like I avoided, I avoid verges, grass verges. It's where they put mines. At times it yeah. felt like walking over a minefield. It was very, very hard for a while. A frustration, anger, so much anger. But it wasn't thing he'd had the kids on me. And when he'd lost their anger, it was walls and doors. His um, sleeping patterns and he was a bit, you know, aggressive. I often work in the evening and sometimes there was the worry of, what are you coming back to when you're coming home? And what stage is he? There'll be a lot of people who are out or left the forces that don't even know they've got PTSD and the lights could just be sliding away from them. post matter what? I've never heard of it. You never realise when you're suffering from it. You never, ever, because of the simple reason it, it doesn't... In your mind, you're, you're functioning perfectly. He was down on the ground, there was nothing that could lift him up. I think he did not realise what was wrong. Um, he realised that he was angry, he realised that he was frustrated, but for himself he could not understand what was going on. Somebody else notices the changes and says, we need to do something about this. And I said, you know, why don't you ring them, why don't you ask them for help? And his answer to it was, I'm not that bad, I think there's people that need help more than me. We got in contact with Veterans East through Facebook, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd seen an advert for them on the television and I mentioned it to Aid. And um, we decided to get in touch. They're all veterans, so they know exactly what we're talking about, what I'm talking about. When I'm talking of various situations, they'll have been there. I don't have to alter my language when I'm talking to them um, because they will use the same language that I do. Excellent working with him because he doesn't he doesn't tread on things that you don't want treading on. Uh, he won't open the door. If the door's closed and you want to keep it closed, then he will keep it closed until you're ready to do it. He rings me up now and again, or oh, texts me, see how things are going. I just have a good chat with him, basically. Everything is down to the individual and what their needs are. And Veterans Ease tailor that so well. They are amazing. Um, it was for me. It made my life easy. 
I could understand why my husband was the way he was. Giving us a bit of peace of mind, I think, mm -hmm. that, you know, knowing that there is somebody to talk to if we need to, mm -hmm. either of us. I would recommend Veterans at Ease to anybody who needs it. This Veteran at Ease is a good and I'm proud to wear the bracelet for them as well. I'd definitely recommend Veterans at Ease, yeah, definitely. They've been a, a great help. Get help, yeah, ring up, get help. Because um, for me, I've, I think I should have done that step, or we should have done that step, years ago. Yeah. It would have saved so many tears and so many horrible weekends, so many horrible nights. Go to veteran as he is, because it will help. I'm a veteran. I'm now at ease.